Okay, hi there. Jeff here with another in our series of key diagrams. Just going to spend a couple of minutes looking at the monopoly diagram and showing supernormal profit. So a business is said to reap or earn monopoly profits when a lack of viable or effective market competition allows it to set their prices above what would normally be the competitive equilibrium price, uh, but without losing supernormal profits to competitors. The key thing is that barriers to entry help to protect monopoly profit in the long run. Now, the profit margin, which we'll look at today in particular for monopolists, will tend to be higher when the coefficient of price elasticity of demand for the product is low. So here's the diagram showing uh, the average revenue curves for the monopoly. So you call it AR, brackets, monopoly demand, downward sloping AR, marginal revenue lies beneath and below. And some short-term cost curves, marginal and average cost. The profit maximizing output is Q1, where MR meets MC. So you draw up to the demand curve, and that is the price the monopoly can charge. Keep in mind, of course, the monopoly has some price setting power. Uh, they can't charge, well, they're constrained by the demand curve. So they can't charge more than P1 for output Q1. They are limited in that sense by the demand curve and also by the elasticity of demand. So that's the price they're going to charge, output Q1. There's the unit cost C1. So therefore, this shaded area shows the monopoly profit. The supernormal profit because we build normal profit into the average cost of the firm. That looks like quite a high markup. The gap between price and cost is pretty high. In fact, it looks as if they're making like a 50% uh, markup on cost, which we want to associate with monopoly, of course, because in a monopoly, it may well be the case that they have few closed substitutes for the product. Uh, there's a lack of viable competition, as we mentioned a few minutes ago, that allows the monopoly to make super normal profits. Now, crucially, it's barriers to entry that allow the monopoly to continue earning these profits in the long run. Okay, thank you.